Congratulations on your success in France, Lieutenant Patterson. I trust the weather was charming. Unfortunately, we have little time for small talk, as we have a rather difficult assignment for you. Battlefield and politics are two words that should never go together, but unfortunately Eisenhower, under pressure from both Washington and London, has approved Field Marshal Montgomery's Market Garden operation. It's scheduled to begin in less than a week. We are very dubious of the plan's potential for success. It's an extremely risky one, but it could end the war by Christmas if it succeeds. Time is of the essence, as we received an urgent request from one of our agents in the Dutch underground for an immediate field rendezvous. He had stolen intelligence materials detailing a new German weapons project, but got himself captured in the process. He was able to send us a message just before they nabbed him. He's being held in a Dutch manor house. This, of course, is where we turn to you. We need you to make contact with one of our field operatives in Holland, locate the prisoner, and get him out of there. We need that information, Patterson. It's critical. Only our operative knows how to get you to the manor house where our Dutch agent is being held. The rest, my friend, will be up to you. On a dual mission for both the OSS and Schaaf, you will parachute into the region and quietly meet up with a small unit led by a Corporal Barnes, who you might remember from your days at the country club, but more so, you may have heard rumours about his stellar performance during Operation Overlord. I believe the last time you saw him, he was preparing for demolitions training. He'll be tagging along to investigate rumours of German armour in the area and take advantage of any opportunity that may present itself. If anyone can do this, Jimmy, it's you. I wish you luck. Hello everyone, the Fair Gamer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Medal of Honor Frontline, and welcome to the seventh mission of this game, Rough Landing. And it's time to participate in Operation Market Garden, which takes place in the Netherlands. And which and is also the country I live in, in the Netherlands. But anyway, continue with the game. Like... And then for the entirety of this mission you have like an an, uh, an ally, like and he's like invulnerable, you can't die. But he is supposed to blow up like five tanks and you just hold off the Germans and attack and uh, attract the attention of the tank. Sure. And there's an ally power to be stuck in the uh, windmill. And he's dead. This like a guy with a car on your end, just like rapid firing, like nothing. Which you obviously, which you obviously, obviously can't do that with the, that with that uh, with that rifle. Man, I sometimes can speak for shit. And also, here's a Thompson again. Last time we saw this was on the D-Day levels. And now it's uh, back for a while. And we have yet again a Springfield rifle and a Colt uh, and a 911 pistol of 19. Colt 911 or whatever this thing is called. Pistols, the pistols are actually kind of powerful in this game. Like it only requires a few shots to get an enemy. Like compared to Allied Assault, you, enemies can take like multiple shots with the pistol. But in this game, mo mostly two shots is like enough for them to die. Let's see. Okay, there's, there's always a few guys hiding in these uh, high sacks, shacks, whatever are those. Like this one, there is a guy shooting uh, through that uh, little thing over there, and he's and I guess he's like behind of it. Can you shoot through it actually? I guess so. I guess you can shoot through them. Let's see. You die, and there's a tank uh, up ahead in there. Okay, that guy is dead. Sometimes and uh, uh, sometimes they just fall over and don't die. Oh, ow! Hi, you die. Like, sometimes enemies just uh, fall over and just don't die. And here's a tank. And here's a German officer. And the tank is going to uh, try and 
trying to blast me away. Boom. Like, I think that, uh, like, you, like, I have tried it, but you can't actually kill the tanks yourself. And I think this is the only mission where you, where you are not able to kill the tanks. Like, you can chuck a grenade at it, it will never blow up if you do it. But, it's, but, blowing them up is kind of scattered anyway in this mission. Like, he has to get, uh, he has to, uh, trigger the explosions for the tank. And there's another allied uh, soldier up there. Uh, he's not there yet, I guess he's just... Yeah, you can just see him spawn in. No problem. Yep, and you have this guy for the rest of the mission. With you. But I think uh, that guy sometimes gets a little bit stuck or something and you lose him, but... Most likely that will not happen. Uh, at least I hope so. Oh. I hear uh, you a uh, German talking about something that I don't understand. Yes, I actually don't know what uh, the German soldiers are saying most of the time because I don't, I can't, uh, because my German is, my German speaking is ass. Well, my English speaking is sometimes a ass as well. Even. Even Dutch says sometimes ass for me to speak. Which is weird because Dutch is my native language to speak. And uh... Oh hi. That was a hit but he didn't die. And... You now he's dead. <laughs> Shut up phone. Let's see, the, I think there's a guy around this corner here. Oh, my, oh, he may have already died. But there's a guy over there. Let's see if we can kill him. Nice. Like, you're gonna have to use uh, the sniper rifle a lot in this mission. Because this, this mission is pretty open. Like, you have these uh, open fields. They're everywhere. And using the Thompson in the op in range kind of sucks. Because the accuracy is not quite uh, good on, on range. And your best bet is just using the sniper rifle for most most of this mission. And there's another tank up here which is going to shoot at me. Come on. Yeah. Careful. You can easily dodge the bullets though, but if there, if there is a wall behind you, it may hit you anyway. And there's a medkit gear and uh, Barnes should come in soon. I think he's always uh, following the same route every time, every time he's about to blow up a tank. And the tank is just tracking me, and it's just trying to kill me, but I'm too fast uh, for- I'm faster than the turret can move, if you like this close. Okay, where is Barnes? Okay, they're just standing up. Okay, you need to walk close by them to trigger the sequence. Like, and here's the M1 Grand again, but you don't, uh, but you don't get to use it yourself, sadly. Yeah, move away, how you blow up. No, it doesn't really matter if he gets stuck on a tank, he can't die, he can't die anyway. Like, and he's always following the same uh, waypoint route. Let's see, there should be a bunch of uh, Germans. Yep, there they are. They both carrying MP40s. Let's see. Okay, there's an officer threatening on a farmer, but he's threatening. He's uh, threatening days are over, I guess, or whatever, or whatever you can call it. Like you see these uh, farmers uh, walking around, but. You can't even hit them, like the bullets go straight uh, through and they are not harmed. You can't, e you can't even melee them, but they, but you can't walk, like, they, but they have, like, a uh, circulation, but you can't, like, shoot them. It goes right through, and hello. 
And there's another tank uh, in here, which is... Come on, shoot if you want. Shoot if you want. There we go. Good boy. Let's see, a canteen. There is a canteen there. This is like an old uh, water pump. Like, you need to manually like move this hand and the water comes out. Which is like uh, the pumps they use in the 1940s era. Well, uh, looks like I lost uh, that other guy somehow. Maybe got stuck and doesn't know how to move. Okay, there's a bunch more guys coming in and the Thompson is pretty handy for this one because this one is kind of close. You can just mow them out uh, pretty easily. And if you can manage your bullets really good, and then you can kill all of those four guys with one magazine. But at this time I was not able to. Okay, this guy over here can sometimes get stuck on this bridge, which he was, which uh, will will make them walk like in here repeatedly. But you can easily fix it by just uh, melee him, melee him like off his edge over here, and then he will move back to his previous waypoint and then proceed as usual, which happens to me like once. And I think it's, I think it's kind of rare. Yeah, okay, there's a, there's a huge open area coming up, and there are some more firing coming up. And yes, you're gonna need to lead your sniper bullets a little bit, because the sniper rifle is actually projectile uh, based, it's not head scan. Okay, I guess the motor, the motor area is like the next area, and there's an officer up here. And a pissed off tank, but. And a really pissed off tank. Which will not do anything to me because I'm out of his line of fire. And a bye bye tank. Good job. And there's some ammo here. Also, getting a gold star on this mission can be a little bit of a problem, because for a few reasons, like one major reason, like if this guy uh, kills an enemy for you, then it doesn't really, it do, then it doesn't really count as a kill. Yes, the enemy is there, but it doesn't kill, it doesn't count as a kill, which uh, is like horrible if you go for gold star. And there's a few, and there is, and there are a few missions uh, like this. But um, I think this is not the first mission to get a gold star. But it is one of the trickier missions to get a gold star at least. And also, if an enemy blows themselves up with a grenade or a bazooka or something, that doesn't count as a kill either. The, like, the only way to make kills count in this game is, like, getting the enemies yourself. Which uh, most of the time is doable because most of the time in the, of this game you're like alone. And there are like a few selection of missions where you have a few allies with you. But most of the time you're just on your own. And uh, yeah. Okay, yes, the mod okay, the motors are coming up over here. Trying to lead the sniper bullets. Okay, there's a tank over here. There's a tank over here, but... I have managed to blow this tank up sometimes with, by shooting that uh, little Pompeian tank. But I guess it's like a... It's like a... Like a small chance of blowing up. I'm not sure. Like, I know I blew that one up with, uh, by shooting that uh, propane red propane tank. And he's... And that guy, uh, like... Like the the like one good thing uh, that guy is good for is uh, he distracts like a lot of enemies for you, so they are not they so they are less likely to shoot at you. And I hear someone uh, cocking a rifle over and over again for some reason. And it is that uh, guy up there. Okay, one tank remaining. Yes, this mission is uh, is already kind of almost over. Like I think uh, it's over in about like five to seven minutes. 
Like this mission takes usually like 18 to 20 minutes. It depends on how fast you can play this game. Like if you speed run this game, you can beat you can I think you can like beat it in a, in a 10 minutes or something. But I'm not speed running this mission. At least well, I'm not speed running this game at all. Like I'm speed running like no non none of the games because I I can't really speed run. Even if I try, I can't really speed run. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Some people like to play the game fast, and some people like to play the game how it's supposed to be played. It's, that's just personal preference. Okay, uh, I thought uh, that was a German, but that's just a Dutch farmer or something. Or a Dutch woman. Okay, I guess uh, I was wrong. I guess uh, the... Like, I know there's a water strike uh, coming in in this mission at some point. But I guess that's in like in one of the final areas. Also, you, also if you hear, if you hear the soundtrack of this mission, you kind of notice like some uh, kind of lyrics in it, and I actually don't know what that lyrics is saying. Like I know there's a no, there's another soundtrack that has like uh, lyrics singing in the background, but uh, that one is more clear what uh, they are saying. But for this one, I I actually don't know what they are saying. Could be Dutch, could be something else. I have no idea. But uh, EA did a great job with the soundtrack of this game. Like if I have to choose uh, from the Metal of Honor soundtracks, I choose I choose this game. This game is the best uh, sound like in my opinion. And there's a best of tank again, that's I think is trying to targeting me. But he but uh, he's actually distracting the a lot of the enemies for me, which is which is a good thing. Yeah sure. Just uh, use this thing to blow up the tank and bye bye. See, there's a guy up here, and there's a surgeon pack. Let's take that. Okay. Okay, this is the next area. And yes, here's the one. Here is one of the final areas of this mission. Looks like I've got glitch, I've got glitch here from this angle, but I guess that's just uh, debris or something. Oh yeah, that's just, uh, that's supposed to be uh, water, I guess. But it looks uh, it looks weird from that angle. Okay, and here are the artillery strikes or the mortars or the mortar strikes. Careful of those, they, you can get hit by those. And for some reason, that guy is not dying, even if you shoot it. I guess he's like a vulnerable. Unless you get like a, unless you're a certain distance away from him. And there's a, another tank coming up. Okay, okay. Nice. Kill this guy. And there's another uh, one of these uh, things, motor thingies or whatever those things are called. He's like right there. Uh, thank you moving your turret too far to the right. I'm up here. Okay, now you realize that I'm... Hello, do you realize I'm even here? Now you do. Come on, shoot me if you want to. Why are you targeting that other guy? I'm up here. Shoot me. And now you're dead. Yes, thanks can also fire like that in the game. Oh, hi. Now you're shooting. And bye-bye. I don't know where the other guy is. Maybe he died, or maybe he got stuck somewhere. I'm not sure. Like usually, it's like with the with this guy as well. I'm not sure what happened. Hello. Yeah. 
Look at that pretty, look at that pretty face. 2002 graphics, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> okay. One final encounter. Wait, did I pick up the thing that I'm supposed to pick up? I hope so. Well, I want to find out. Yes, I did. Like this, like this extra thing you need to pick up and if you miss it, you need to backtrack quite a bit. Which kind of sucks, but well. I like to wait around in here and this, and this, like this door is going to open soon. Yeah, do this and there's a few guys coming out. So, um... I got two of the, I got, I got uh, two of the four guys with one magazine. Not bad. And I just got enough health to get a gold medal. Which hopefully I will get. And now I get definitely gold medal. Maybe. Maybe. Nice. Oh no, I got bronze. I guess I have missed uh, some of the enemies. Oh well. I don't care. But uh, anyway. Um, and, 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 <laughs> This is the end of the video. And the end of this episode. And I hope you enjoy it. And I see you in the next one. So take care. Bye bye.